Good morning, you beautiful souls. Welcome to your morning messages. Happy Sunday. You are here with me, Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Awakening with Michelle Thornton. I am here to assist you on your awakening journey. If you're going through major uh, transitions in your life, breakups, divorce, career moves, um, just unlearning all the shit we've learned through our childhood, um, you are in the right spot if you're doing any of those. So this morning I had kind of a weird morning um, and on my channel, I often share in my morning messages, just kind of like what I'm feeling. I am a feeler. I'm an intuitive. My special uh, gifts are being able to sense what's going on in the world, worldly issues, and being able to sense what's going on around me with my clients and with other people. So I am very much so um, somebody who needs to be around people who have kind of the similar energy as me, or I need to be alone a lot to really tune in to figure out, okay, sorry, my heater just went on. Is, is it what I'm feeling or am I feeling somebody else's feelings or am I feeling what the world, what's going on in the world? And I'm sure you guys saw the volcano that erupted um, in Tonga, I think it's called, um, crazy stuff. And I feel like more and more of that is going to happen in 2022 because Mother Earth is like, hey, you, you humans are not treating me well. You're not respecting me. And Mother Earth is actually a representation of the divine feminine, which is us ladies. And <clears throat> it symbolizes the fact that we've been, we're kind of like this this flow, uh, not really, we are the flow. So I always think of like water, like the river that's flowing and the masculine energy um, can kind of, they're like what, they're, they're what holds us, if that makes sense. So it's almost like I just was watching Jake Woodward. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but he's an amazing um, kind of like teacher on the masculine and feminine energy. If you don't know who he is, go on YouTube right now and go subscribe to his channel. Um, especially if you hold more masculine energy, this will help you. This will be gold for you to understand yourself and why you do certain things and how to unlearn certain patterns, which is what we're going to talk about today. Toxic patterns that we repeat over and over again. And I'm going to share some of my toxic patterns, but um, so basically he talks about how the feminine is flow and we are this river, right? And the masculine, it's the bed. It's the bed that holds that water. It's like, if there's a waterfall, waterfalls, the men and the masculine energy are the rocks. I can't talk. It's the rocks that hold the water. So without that, the water just goes everywhere. So the men need to be a space. They need to be a container for the feminine. They have to be able to hold space for her, listen intently, be calm, be still, be solid, be sturdy, just be firm for them so that they can just be themselves and flow and express. And because um, if a woman <laughs> is with a man and he is not present with her, his mind is somewhere else and he's not paying attention to her, her flow, it will be off. And um, she will show you her flow by being angry and unheard and not seen and not felt. And that causes discord in partnerships, whether it's a work relationship, a friendship, whatever it is. Um, so to start off these morning messages, I was thinking about the volcano and how I was feeling. And I was just like, man, like, I just feel like this, like, I want to be doing something like I want to help. And um and I don't know what to do with this feeling other than put out these messages. This is like my best avenue to reach people with what I have to offer. And I just feel like our world is in such chaos right now. And I'm scared. And um, yeah, I'm just nervous for what's to come. I hate the fact that people are suffering right now and dealing with flooding and tsunamis. And actually one of my biggest fears is um tsunamis i actually had like a reoccurring dream as a kid of being in like a glass building and being really high up and being able to see this huge wave just coming at the at the windows and i just was there and i knew it was coming and it was about to break through the glass and then i would wake up and i always wondered like did i die in another lifetime in a tsunami or something and then now that like the world is the way it is i was like oh no what if i'm foreseeing the future <laughs> what if i'm like knowing in 15 or whatever years like 
we're going to be hit by a big tsunami or wherever I'm going to be on vacation or something. Um, and I always kick the table at weird times. So I'm going to start to pay attention to that. Spirit is funny when it does this kind of stuff with me. Uh, but let's all start off. Instead of breathing today, I felt called to read an affirmations that I wrote, like a list of affirmations. I felt like maybe we could calm our minds down, relax on the Sunday morning, and you guys can just close your eyes where you're at, or you can keep them open and watch me read. But um, I just want to like pour some goodness into your brains. I actually posted a meditation last night um, on my channel. I recorded about 10 meditations for my mindfulness program for my students. And I felt called to start sharing them on YouTube for free for anybody that wants to listen. Um, they're kind of like amateur status. I'm a novice at it. I'm not super great. I don't have a good um, microphone. Um, so the, the volume is like hit or miss, but I know that like I can, I know that I've helped my students soothe and heal and relax through my voice, through my tone. So I felt called to be vulnerable and put myself out there and put it on the tube. So go watch or listen to my meditation if you feel called. It's only about seven minutes long, but I had fun last night, like creating all the videos and um, adding the music. So yeah, go check that out. That's my newest like thing that I'm going to start doing on YouTube. I've already done it in the past, but I'm going to start recording. I'm going to get a microphone. I'm going to get a good spot in my home where there's not a lot of echoing, um, probably in my bedroom because there's carpet but I wanna start putting out uh, meditations for you all because I was super passionate about that through my awakening. And I feel like my channel is all about awakening and meditation is a huge piece of that. I'm also gonna start a Reiki practice in my home. I'm gonna get a massage table and start to have clients come here and guide them through how to meditate and also provide Reiki, which is energy healing. Um, jam-packed today. I have so much on my mind. I'm also going to have my niece, Eva. She is like my daughter from another lifetime. Um, she's the one that made me want to get pregnant and have kids. And she was born on January 11th or January 1st, 2011. So one, 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 one. Talk about angel numbers. She is so spiritually connected. She always comes to my house and plays with all my crystals and all my rocks and all my cards and She's just so wise. She's always telling me how she's like praying to her angels ever since I taught her how to do it. Like when she's in a park, in a car with her mom or dad, and she'll silently pray like that they get a good parking spot. She's just awesome. And she's cute as a button. So I'm going to do a video with her and we're going to, she loves crystals. I take her to crystal shops all the time. So I'm going to have her sitting next to me here and you guys are just going to get to see how we interact. Um, it's like we're best friends from another lifetime. It's really cool. And she's 11 years old. So she just turned 11 on 1 1 21 or 22. But yeah, lots to talk about. So affirmations, here we go. Okay, so take a few deep breaths. You can close your eyes. And I'm just going to read a couple of these just to start off this morning message with a nice, calming, positive, um, just maybe teaching you what thoughts you can start to plant in your mind when you're starting to have anxiety and fear about what's going on out in the world. You can maybe adopt these and start to play these in your mind. I'm also gonna do some meditations on YouTube that are affirmations. Here we go. I would like to always have good timing. I am always on time for everything. I would like to feel like the universe is working for me. I would like to have a full sense of who I am. I would like to accept this world and all of the fullness that it brings me. I would like to be an uplifter. I would like anyone to benefit from me. I would like to not be sad if that doesn't happen. I would like to not be, I would like to not be at my best and not beat myself up for it. I would like to know that everything is always working out for me. I would like to always remember that I am like the ocean. I ebb and flow with my emotions. I would like to stay strong and faithful in the valley moments of life. I would like to really feel the fullness of my manifestations before they arrive 
so they can arrive. I would like to be confident in my decisions. I would like to always be reminded of how far I've come. I would like to always be surrounded with like-minded people that help all of us grow together. I would like to always remember to give back to mother nature. I would like to know that everything is always working out for me. I would like to be completely accepting of myself and everyone else. I would like to trust in the law of attraction and know that I'm a strong co-creator of my reality. I would like to forgive easily and effortlessly. I would like the universal flow of abundance to always gain momentum around me, with me, and through me. I would like to always be guided by the universe. I would like to always be changed into a person who can be flexible in their life. I would like to be aware of when the universe is offering me love and accept it fully into my heart. I want to have clarity. I want to have good energy. I want children to know their value. I would like them to know it now. I would, like it, I would like to shine that light for them. I would like opportunities to let them know that. I would like children to have full bellies with healthy food. I would like them to love themselves. I would like them to know that everything is always working out for them. I would like them to sleep well. I would like them to wake up with joy in their hearts. I would like all humans to play like children with joy and laughter. I would like to always bring joy and laughter to others. I would like to know that everything is always working out for me. I would like to always be a light even when I feel dim. I would like to be loved. I would like everyone to feel loved. Take a nice big deep breath. So those are some phrases that I say often in my head while I'm driving, while I'm cooking, while I'm showering, especially the parts about kids. I'm so passionate about kids finally seeing, you know, what is real in life? What is important? It's not money. It's not fame. It's not success. It's good food in our bellies. It's a smile. It's a touch. It's a hug. It's doing nothing. The one thing that my niece Eva always says to me, shushy, they call me shushy, shushy, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm, I'm bored. And I'm like, uh, fi well, figure it out, be bored. <laughs> when I have kids, my kids, I'm gonna put them in a room with no toys and I'm gonna say, figure it out. How can you be alone and still be okay and not have all these distractions and not have all this artificial stuff? How can you sit with your own body and figure out how to make it happy and figure out how to make your mind start to think good thoughts? And I just got called to read to you guys um, my curriculum for my 30-day program. I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but I'm feeling called to it, so I'm going to do it. Okay, uh, here we go. Documents. Picks for the website, here we go. Here's my curriculum, okay? So I have 30 days. There's gratitude, everyone has a story, being mindful, these are all the topics of each day. And I feel like I'm gonna be called to, to touch on one of these and then pull cards on it. Okay, so gratitude, everyone has a story. This is what I'm teaching kids. Being mindful, the present moment, breathe, anxiety is your friend, shift your energy, giving is key, nature heals, food is fuel, movement is medicine, your thoughts create your reality, momentum creates flow. Mm, I feel like that might be it. Manifest your dream life, self-discipline builds trust, accountability, boundaries, choose you, you can say no, relationships, love languages, self-love, rejection is redirection, Forgiveness sets you free. 
why wait? Don't procrastinate. Your relationship with money, your net work is your net worth. See the light. Life is a classroom. Embrace the unknown. Follow your mindful heart. Unleash the creator within. Okay, so there's a few that stuck out to me. And if you can see, I just had them like in a little chart. I don't know if, there you go, you can kind of see it. So those, for all 30 days, I taught each one of those topics. And the ones that are sticking out to me are nature heals, um, momentum creates flow, unleash the creator within, and life is a classroom. So I'm going to pull cards real fast on unleash the creator within. I know this is a really different morning message today, but I'm just going with what I, I'm called to do. I probably should have told you earlier about the affirmations and then if you wanted to skip through, you could. Okay, high priestess. I always think of, I have like a dish towel in my house that one of my coworkers got me at my old school. Um, and it says highly meditated <laughs> instead of highly medicated. Um, and I always see her and I think of that. Like she is highly meditated. She is, and maybe that's the theme. Maybe that's why I was called to create that meditation last night. Maybe we're all being called by mother earth to meditate, to connect back to us, to spend time in nature. We're about to get a storm here. There's a, there's a storm going on across the Midwest. It's coming our way. Um, so maybe we're being called to go within to see like, okay, how can we center ourselves? How can we ground ourselves and tune in to what we're being called to do? Because when we are nurturing ourselves and we're taking care of ourselves and we're in the flow, momentum creates flow. That's basically saying like when you're feeling good, you're surrounded by like-minded people, you're using your affirmations, you're always wanting the best for everybody else, you're always expecting the best, you know that everything's always working out for me, all is perfect, I am in the flow with the universe's abundance, like you're constantly just saying these things, you're in the flow, look at the flow coming down from her head, that pink, she's flowing, she's flowing, and you masculines out there, you have to hold space for that flow within yourself. So the masculine and feminine energy is in all of us. So as a man, you hold masculine and feminine energy. And a lot of men start to get stiff and they start to have ailments and they start to have tight shoulders and, and like um, their shoulders kind of curl in because they're not expressing their heart. They're needing to open their heart chakra up and cry and speak and feel and it's because that feminine flow <clears throat> has been oppressed. You've been told not to express. You've been told not to feel. You've been numb, numbing. And it's not your fault. It's just our society. And that's that heavy masculine energy that likes to control and restrict. And it likes to put that feminine flow in a box. And we're trying to break out of that box right now. And a lot of men are opening up and expressing grief and anger and anger actually stems. So if, if you are a guy listening or a girl in your masculine energy, if you have anger that deep down inside of you, it's grief. There's some piece of you that is so sad that you can't feel it. So it comes out as anger. It's either something that's happened to you some, somebody's abandoned you, somebody's hurt you, somebody told you to be quiet and to not make noise, you're a burden. Um, you just felt disconnected your whole life. Nobody, nobody valued you, nobody listened to anything. You felt dumb your whole life. You felt like you couldn't do anything. Well, this flow is wanting to come out. And that is what Reiki can do for you. Reiki can help you release that. Meditation is 100% a good way to do it. You're by yourself, you can just cry. So if you are a masculine energy out there and you are feeling tight and you're feeling like you just wanna fucking let loose, then do it. Sit in meditation, find good meditations on YouTube that really, that you connect with. Go see a healer, come see me. Um, you gotta let that flow out. And I feel like that's the volcano that we just experienced. It's like mother earth is like literally exploding with her anger and with her emotions. And she's trying to release everything that's been pent up down deep in our earth. And that's symbolic of what's been, been in us. 
Um, wow, that was a really great message, right? I was not planning on, I, I, sometimes I say things and I don't know that I'm saying it. So I didn't have control of that. Um, unleash the creator within. So an example of that is if you're feeling stuck in your life and you're feeling that like tightness, sometimes it gets released when we're creating, when we're feeling like we're being of value to the world. Um, just like me, like, I think it was like 10 or 11 o'clock at night, I was laying on my couch and um, I don't really watch TV, but I just was like laying there and I had YouTube on. I was listening to some, um, I think I was actually listening to Jake Woodward. He was talking about the masculine and feminine energy. It just happened to pop up my feed and I'm laying there and, and I just was like, I should put a YouTube meditation out there. So I grabbed my computer and I just started creating the video. I don't know why I did it, but that was the creator in me. Unleash the creator within is my last day of the 30 days because I wanted to teach the kids that when you don't feel lit up in your life, when you feel depressed, when you have anxiety and you don't know what your purpose is, you're being called to, to go within, to figure out universe, what have you put inside of me to bring to the planet? What am I supposed to be creating? Please show me, please change me into a man or a woman who will know what I can do to add value to this world. How can I help? How can I help people? Is it at my job? Is it, if I'm a banker, am I just supposed to smile and start conversation with people and hold space for people who are coming to the bank with such financial fear? Maybe you are this beautiful feminine flow energy and you're just there and you're offering a smile and you're telling them it's gonna be okay. You're not alone. It's gonna be okay. So that could be your creative, um, gift is you're creating space to hold space for other people who are stressed. You could be a healer like me. You um, host sessions with people, even just being one-on-one -on -one with me in a Zoom is healing for people. They end up crying on the other end of the Zoom because they can just feel the healing energy that I offer. And a lot of you guys are healers <clears throat> who are listening to this. And my throat chakra just got blocked. Um, so that's a sign that whoever's listening, you're a healer, you're a light worker, you're here to help. You're not here just to do a nine to five, go home, watch football, watch sports. I mean, that stuff can be fun, but that's not what's going to light you up. That's not what's going to make you feel fulfilled. Creating is what's going to make you feel fulfilled and masculine, the masculine energy right now, a lot of um, ladies, a lot of our masculines, they're, they're looking for their purpose. They're looking for, okay, I just pulled myself out of the matrix <laughs> of what I've been trained to do my whole life. And now I'm like breaking free and thinking differently and thinking on my own. And they're needing us to guide them to how to tap into that feminine flow. So we have to we have to be their guide. We have to be their lighthouse. We have to lead them. And it's, it's really a beautiful thing to do. So that means we have to be grounded in our feminine flow and be able to not be too much in the masculine energy, but we also can be in the masculine so that we can hold space for them so that their river can flow through us. And that looks like this. That looks like sitting down and listening to your man when he starts to cry you, you don't, you just sit there and hold space for him. You don't try to give him a solution. You just pause and you breathe with him and you tell him it's safe. You tell him it's great that he's being vulnerable. Get that shit out. We want to remove that from your body because you want them to be free. Okay. And then another one that I was talking about was day 27 life is a classroom. So if you are going through tough experiences right now in your life, understand that you are in this big classroom, right? <laughs> People are our teachers. So if you have somebody in your life right now, that's pissing you off or ticking you off, you can be like, okay, I chose them to be my teacher. <laughs> what is this teaching me? What is the lesson here? Every part of life, every part of your daily life is a lesson. If you get, are at work and you get called into somebody's office or you have a, a, a task to go do, see it as, okay, universe, you're moving me here for a reason. What are you teaching me? Oh, I'm a light worker and I'm supposed to go to this person's house to help them with something because they need my light. They need my energy. They need to know that they're safe right now. And, and if you have that, ladies or gentlemen, if you have that masculine holding space energy, you might be at a job where you're constantly interacting with all different people because God wants you to be that for them. 
He wants you to walk into their homes, walk into their office and offer that space to be that grounding energy for them. I know I felt that when I switched schools, I felt so called to be there for those kids. I felt like I was that feminine flow. I would walk into the gymnasium and it was weird. Like the second day of school, I would have like sixth and seventh graders. I taught at six through 12 school. It was really weird. It was mixed. Um, so one minute I go from teaching like juniors and then I'd have sixth graders in the next class. So I really had to like pick and choose my lingo to make sure they understood whatever. But I was in the gym and it was like my second day at the school. I didn't know anybody. And I had sixth and seventh graders running up to me and hugging me. It's because they felt my energy. They felt my safety. They felt my compassion. They knew that the space around me was free and it felt good. And they just wanted to be around me all the time. And I always had to kick them out and be like, you got to go to your next class. <laughs> Stop hugging me. <laughs> um, so that was a challenge for me because I had to preserve my energy because I was constantly offering that space to them. So where in your life are you being moved and maybe not realizing that you're the light in that room, that you're being called to be that light worker who is being moved for other people's benefit. You're helping other people heal, whether you know it or not. And if you've ever been told that you have good energy, you're a light worker. You are here to use that energy to help others. And it doesn't have to be physical. It doesn't have to be you doing something for them or giving them something. It's just you being there and you standing there and just emanating this energy. And that's what she's doing. She's being still. She's in her feminine flow. She's also in her masculine energy because the masculine energy is firm and solid and still and patient and kind. And they, they like to have direction in their life. They like to know. They like It's the logical part of all of our minds. We like to know what's happening. And sometimes the feminine has to kick in in all of us, all of our feminine energy and say, trust, everything's going to be okay. I can still be solid. I can still be logical. And I can also be really open and just be like, universe, use me. Where do you want me to go today? What do you want me to do? Who do you want me to see? What do you want me to say? I say that prayer every morning. It's a Course of Miracles prayer. Um, okay. I keep saying in my head, man, I'm doing something different this morning, but that's okay. It's nice to get out of routines, right? All right, let's do an animal card. And then we'll end this. Or we'll do three. We have the squirrel. <laughs> it says, believe in yourself. Believe in your energy. Believe that you're a light worker. Just a girl trying to get a nut. <laughs> No sexual pun intended. Um, yeah, you're just trying to make a difference in this world. You're trying to gather and, and create and provide. And I don't know, I just think about a squirrel just going and gathering and, and providing for himself and his family. 57 is the number. Adds up to 12. I don't know if anybody has 12 as a meaningful number for them. Then we have the cow spirit. The miracles are endless. And I love this one because I just did one of the meditations I did last night. I did two. Um, I used like a sunflower theme and it's really beautiful. I'm going to post it later tonight or maybe this afternoon. Um, but number 15, look how pretty the cow spirit is. I like the feather hanging from his ear too. Miracles are endless. So even though there's craziness going on in the world, there's something good coming from it. There's a miracle coming from everything. Be spirit, sweet results await. I just posted on my Insta story this morning um, about my meditation and I put busy bee and then I put go soothe yourself with me. Um, and of course we get the bee. It's number seven, sweet results await. So we got the miracles are endless and sweet results await. Good things are coming. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. If you don't have to have it all figured out. Remember the affirmations I read earlier? Just keep reminding yourself that everything is always working out for me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I have the universal flow all around me. I'm going to work on. So let's recap these, these morning messages. We're going to meditate. 
Mother Earth is calling us to meditate because we need to release our feminine flow. We need to stop keeping ourselves all boxed up. And that was what that volcano was. It was an explosion of emotion. And we're being called to go within, to allow ourselves to heal and to release whatever we're holding on to. And that in my meditation that I posted, I talk about letting go and relaxing all of your muscles and letting go of whatever you've been holding on to, whether it's old belief system, a job, a marriage, um, an old way of thinking, we have to release that. You have to know that you are enough. You're worthy of miracles. And I like how all of these match my shirt. Remember how I always talk about the colors always match? We got a lot of yellow today. Yellow is a really a beautiful color. Like my shirt? You look good today. Just thought I'd tell you. Okay. Let's um, end it there. Yeah. I feel like I'm kind of checked out. Oh, I didn't even get to do my toxic patterns. Maybe we'll do that in another one later today. Cause that kind of takes its own, its own whole video. Maybe I'll do that as like a teaching video. Cause I just redid my space over here. So I think I'm going to start filming in this little spot. I took down my manifestation wall and just cleared the clutter. I felt called to create space for something new to kind of come through me. I hung a tapestry on the wall. It looks really beautiful. Um, Maybe I'll show you real fast. Yay. And I can hear the birds chirping outside. Look how pretty that is. And my friend Elisa is going to come over this week. We're going to do another magic meetup. So um, lots to come, lots to come on this channel. I'm super excited about being able just to express myself whatever way I want. And I can't wait to have Eva over to do our crystals. We're going to do crystals and chakras. I'm going to teach about all the chakras of the body and how they relate to muscle tightness, illness, and how like, say you have like a tight lower back, maybe um, that's usually a sign that you are feeling a little unstable in your life. That's usually your root chakra, your stability, your security, your financial security. So sometimes we have ailments in our body when we are emotionally stressed about something and the, the where it's being held in your body and the chakra system that it's connected to, I can help you tap into, oh, you're having this pain because your mind is worried about this. So our thoughts can create illness and, and um, injury in our body. And Reiki, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a massage table right in that space and I'm gonna have clients come to me, put them, well, like, like darken the space, like candles, put music on and they'll just lay on the table and meditate. And I'll just go around and place my hands on different parts, hovering over their body. Some people like me to touch, some people don't, um, but I'm going to offer healing sessions in my home. So I cannot wait to start that. That's why I redid that space. So, okay, blabbed enough. Have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.